the fuck? What the fuck? Goddamn speed racer! Goddamn speed racer! Oh shit, that was close. Oh shit! Operation Velvet Cake. Shell. I meant to say shell. Fuck. Now you may be wondering, Speedy, why the fuck are you doing a Rainbow Six video? Like, what? It, why is this out of the blue, out of nowhere? It's like, it definitely not because the video is sponsored. The video is sponsored, by the way, by Ubisoft. Um, thank you to them for, uh, you know, creating this game. I really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Rainbow Six Siege Velvet Shell uh, content and possibly the year two season pass, the link will be in the description below. But that's not the goddamn reason why I'm making a video on Rainbow Six. Well, I mean, it kind of is, but at the same time, it isn't. Let me explain. Okay, real quick before I explain. So some of you may know when I do sponsored videos, the devs like to hook me up with a bunch of credits and shit, and it really messes with my experience. Well, I specifically told them this time, don't give me any renown. I don't want any. I don't, I don't want it because it's going to ruin my experience with this game. I'm really enjoying it. I want to enjoy the experience. So they gave me 100,000 renown and a bunch of rainbow six points. Okay, you know what? There's a soup there's a simple solution to it. You know what? There's a simple solution to this, okay? We go to bundles, we buy the diamond bundle pack. It's 90,000 credits and I mean if I buy it now, then I I mean I only ha I have 10 I have 10,000 left over, which is basically what I had before they, you know, my account. But I have all these rainbow six points that I, I honestly don't want to spend because I, I feel like pretty bad for having them because I didn't really, you know, necessarily buy them with my own money. They just kind of gave it to me. So, I'm, I mean, I, I maybe I'll buy, like, one or two headgears for, like, 300 each, but, like, that's that's about it. Also, this part of the video was recorded before Velvet Shell release, like, the whole thing. So, it's the old UI here, but you guys want you guys want to see something? You guys want you guys want to see something cool? Watch this, watch this. Want to see the new UI? Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Ready, 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 ready? Holy shit! Holy shit! Do you see that shit? Do you fucking see this shit? Goddamn! Holy shit! Yeah, I guess, I guess the UI is pretty cool. Now, recently, you may know if you follow me on Twitter that recently I have found personally that the video game river has kind of run dry for me. As you guys know, I lost interest in Counter Strike for a bit, and I, I'm starting to get back into it. During that time, I was playing a lot of Overwatch, and that's kind of run dry for me a bit. I was craving something new, something not that I wanted to get back into that I played previously. So I talked to my friend Gray and he recommended Rainbow Six because he's a huge advocate at the game. He loves playing it and he's actually gotten me into it a fair amount if I'm honest. <laughs> anyway, he recommended it to me to give it a try and I did and I'm not gonna lie, the first few times I play I was getting my ass kicked. I mean, that it's just normal for any game you kind of jump into unless you're like Dr. Disrespect or something, you know, like that kind of thing. I was getting absolutely destroyed by people who actually knew the game. They knew the angles. They just knew where to be. It's just kind of difficult for me to settle into it at first. And that was only like the first few days I played it. We played it for like three hours a day, that kind of thing. And I was just getting my ass kicked. But I never really gave up. So I kept going at it and I've gotten eh, kind of good. You know, I don't know. You'll be able to judge by my gameplay. I'm still pretty shit in my opinion, but I do have some good games here and there when we play. Rainbow Six is actually at its peak amount of players and it's still growing today which is insane to me because this game came out what two years ago and everyone really didn't like it i actually was one of the, like the only people who had really any faith in this game when it came out or when it was announced and stuff and it actually like blew my mind how different the meta was compared to when the game first came out and how it is now people play this game like it was originally meant to be played instead of a bunch of idiots just running around spraying their weapons through walls in all directions hoping to get a kill like people did when the game originally launched i think i actually have an older vid on my channel where i talk about the game and its state and and how I did enjoy playing it. It's just at that time, I don't think it was really for me because I was playing a lot of CS and a lot of other games that just had my interest. But I guess now that it's hit its peak, it's kind of gaining everybody else's interest. I've seen a lot more of my friends play it and I'm starting to play it more. And I actually hope to have a few fontages out on the game and I do have the clips for it right now. I just need to get a little bit more footage on it and then hopefully I'll be able to put one together and put that out and see how you guys enjoy it. So yeah, basically to sum it all up, I do plan on creating Rainbow Six content in the future because it is is a very fun game 
it's tactical yet it can be perfect for like entertainment entertainment like funny moments and stuff like that i don't i don't really know how to describe it so in this video i just kind of wanted to talk about my transition into this game and what it was like for me so i came into this game at like a really like weird sort of time where at the end of one season of competitive so like everyone's just kind of scrambling around and casual and goofing about and even in rank some people are goofing about which kind of sucks because i have started to play ranked and i have had some pretty bad experiences with people leaving and stuff like that but it's not like in any other competitive game that just doesn't happen so at this point i'm, I'm just kind of numb to it now when i first started playing the game i didn't have the season pass or anything so i was limited to the uh how many here i characters i don't want to call them heroes because i feel like i'm gonna get flack for that but i don't know why <laughs> i was only limited to the operators that's what they're called like the first original i forget how many i think there were like 16 operators to play as when i first started playing until ubisoft decided to hook me up with the season pass code again thanks to them they gave me a, a huge array because you unlocked them all from that first season and that was like cav which is the silent character she's a good favorite of mine i don't play her too much but i do enjoy playing her when i'm actually you know decent at the game but the other characters i enjoy playing are rook bandit jaeger i like sledge glass is fun uh ash she's i think she's probably my favorite character i just love her run and gun style like surprise attack kind of thing it's just my kind of style to play i basically like any character who can lurk really well i don't know i i think i think lurking's pretty fr frowned upon in this game i feel like it is i'm not sure if it is but i think you're kind of seen as a a sneaky motherfucker if you do that. <laughs> but along with the season pass, now that the year two has started for Rainbow Six, there are two new characters who were just added, Mira and Jackal. And I've just come into the game, like I said, at a time where the meta is going to be changing. So what I learned for that eight some odd days before the pass or like the year two was out and those new characters weren't in, is probably going to be completely changed because after playing it for a while and seeing Mira and Jackal available, a lot of people have been picking them, and I'm not sure if that's be just because, you know, they're new heroes and they're kind of hyped and people want to see how they play, or if it's actually that they're truly preferred characters to have on their team. And if you don't know who these heroes are, I will try and roughly describe them to the best of my ability, because maybe you followed Rainbow Six Siege for a while, but sort of fell off of it and not really sure about what's going on with it now. Uh, Mira is basically someone who puts up on reinforcements like a sort of like a uh, one-way mirror basically like a one-way window i guess you can't shoot through it the only way to knock it out are is with certain explosives from i think uh two characters hibana and thermite i'm not sure i'm watching you <laughs> there's one on the right there's one on the right too you throw another grenade dude uh oh, oh, shit. oh, that's that's Habana, baby. I got to go. Or you can take out the window yourself if you're looking through it and you see people to knock it down and shoot them with this little just like this little gas canister underneath. I personally never shoot it out. I feel like it's a super tactical advantage if you just have that window there that the the attackers can't do anything about. And you could just call out their positions to your teammates and you can either wall bang them or, you know, just do something along those lines. So I personally never knock out those windows just for that reason. I tell my teammates try not to do it unless it's like a dire situation because I feel like it's really more helpful to see your enemy and give your inf information to your team rather than blow out the window, wait five seconds, and then have a shootout with that person because they know that's opening. Everyone seemed to love Mira in Twitch chat when they were live streaming the reveal of the Velvet Shell. And I thought she was really cool as well. But Jackal, on the other hand, when Jackal was revealed, that's the other the other operator for this DLC. When he was revealed, <laughs> everyone just kind of went like, what the fuck, this dude is overpowered. And I could totally see that. My reaction was the same, by the way. Like, I totally thought like, damn, this guy is overpowered. But to be honest, Actually playing him, his most overpowering quality is his rifle. It's so ridiculous, and I'll put some clips in here. There's no recoil to it whatsoever. It's like the best gun I've ever used in that game. I feel like they're totally going to nerf it because it's just ridiculous to use. It kills fast. There's no recoil. Obviously, in Rainbow Six, uh, I'm pretty sure all guns are one-shot headshot. I haven't played the game long enough to confirm or deny that, but his tracking ability is really cool as well, but it's very hard to find footprints, in my opinion. And not too many, I'm not seeing too many people lurk after he came out just because there are 
so they seem to be very afraid of it. The only person I've actually managed to track footprints of is Cav, which is the silent character I talked about earlier. And that's really her job to lurk. She's a lurking character. She's like a silent stealth kind of person. And I'm sure all the people listening to this video and watching this who have already played Rainbow Six since the release are like, yeah, we know, Smitty, shut the fuck up. But come on, man, I gotta, I gotta talk about this, man. You know, it's just exciting for me because I'm getting into a new game. Come on, man, get off my case. Let me say something about Jackal, though. I have been tracked a few times by him. It's actually like really fucking terrifying, especially if you're on your own lurking because like they know exactly where you are. It pings your location on their screen like every 10 seconds or something. The nerves set in when you get tagged by Jackal and he can just see you and his whole team, his whole team can see you. It's not only him that can see. It's pinged for everybody on that map who's playing. So you you best bet you gotta, you gotta move your ass when you get tagged by Jackal because if you sit still, oh, it's... It's gonna end bad. It's really bad. Oh, right. Also, new map. New map in the game. Uh, I, I still don't even know the other maps fully off by heart. And it's, you know, just... I'm still settling into that whole aspect of learning everything like I did with CS. Like, learning how to aim better. Learning the map. Learning callouts. That kind of thing. Like, I still don't know any callouts. But the new map is actually pretty interesting. I like the layout of it. It gives the defenders, like, a, a really good chance to, you know, see the attackers before they come in. I don't mean in terms of running out the door and trying to peek their spawn or wherever they're spawning. I mean, like, there's some openings. There's, like, this big opening in the middle of the map that I really like. Because some attackers will like to sit at the top and sort of watch through the windows on the inside of this little courtyard and you can just sort of see the top of their head at some points if you're at looking at the right angle and you can just pop them in the head once and they're dead but this new map has this like really tropical modern vibe which i've always really liked because i've always had an interest in architecture so it's kind of like for me it's like if i built a really nice house and then i just completely destroyed it that's what it's kind of like for me so it kind of hurts in a sense just seeing bullet holes riddled throughout this entire place because it really is a modern masterpiece in my opinion it's really something that i wouldn't want to see get destroyed because i'm really into nice architecture and modern like sort of contemporary style buildings but you know that's just the name of the game man it's rainbow six everything gets destroyed anyway i think that's gonna do it for this video hopefully i covered really everything i wanted to cover in regards to you know my transition into this game again if you guys are interested in learning more about rainbow six siege velvet shell or the year two season pass there will be a link in the description for you guys to click please be on the lookout for more videos on this game because i am gonna try and make a fontage from it and i want to gauge your guys interest on it because i feel like you will enjoy it so yeah again thank you for watching leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it and i'll see you guys later